Okay, are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. So, interesting, because I didn't read your email until... So, I usually... Um, what I find works best is to do... To read it before I do the... Um, bring in the masculine, okay, and read for both of you. And get information for, uh, for you f about your masculine. So... Um, because mostly the oracle, okay, then advice and guidance and, okay, life purpose, divine guidance, all that is, um, you know, for the person getting the reading. But, um, so, in between doing the last one and this one, I just read your email. And it's very interesting because I was all, okay, I was all, um, I was already getting Kuan Yin, okay? And then I didn't even get it in, when I read the email until just a little bit before I started, before I hit record. I was, you know, working with tuning back into the energies. And it dawned on me, I'm like, oh, pff, it's no wonder. It's no wonder, okay, Kuan Yin was coming in. Cause, and that for whatever reason, you felt compelled to share your, your guys' Chinese zodiac um uh, signs right okay so and I was also already getting seraphim okay with Mikael the high vibe transmutation pure like uh, violet flame and white fire okay that's like the purest hottest so um <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> very interesting that the one that yours is okay and the one that, <laughs> anyway, I'll email you, okay? But, so I pulled, oops, I pulled from, make sure I get it in the shot both here. Okay, so, Kuan Yin has a message, and it's interesting because both, what came up here on one of the bottom, or top cards, and then what came out, came out, came up, it came up in, um, when I was pulling only masculine cards from the Buddha deck. Okay, so just like this, but masculine. So, um, this is what came out. And now the four, the heart, the earth, four was already coming up. 13 reduces to four. So those two numbers, divine mother. Okay, so 13, death, rebirth, transformation, death card, four of the earth, the four elements, the heart. Okay, the fourth chakra. So this is what shot out, and it was just one here, okay? So this is for you. Cultivate perfection of wisdom. Okay, cultivate perfection of wisdom. So <clears throat> this new moon intention setting is going to be important for you. No fire, poison, sword, and water can harm you. So there you go. Four elements, heart. Okay, this is, that's where you're balanced. You have no fear. You're in your heart. And this is where we can communicate with nature and because they're always in their heart. So once you start, once you start, star, estarte, heart, earth, bear, birth, hearth, <laughs> um, brother, okay, brother, brown mother, mother. Okay, so moth energy, bear. There's a section of town uh, near where I live called Brunswick. So Brunswick is Brunswick, which is brown witch. Okay, brown is bear, burn, fire, seraphim. Okay, the serpent, the fire. Okay, and what deck was that? <clears throat> So, cultivate perfection of wisdom. No fire, poison, sword, and water can harm you. And the, on the bottom, and this is important too, this is coming up because how we're coming more into this oneness and as we're more and more in our heart, we vibe more with certain things and less with others. So, once I and mine are given up, there is no limited individual 
There is only the wisdom which pervades everything. Okay, so wisdom again came up in that card. So I grabbed the wisdom rock. Okay, wisdom, inspire, and healing. So breath work has been very valuable to me, okay? Whenever things come up, regulate your breathing. You can also do breath work and speed up your breathing to increase your heart rate and metabolize and burn fat. Just through breath work alone, people don't understand. They think they have to go crazy, go to the gym. To, there's so much you can do just with um, the foods you eat, your breath work, tuning into the earth, okay? It just the way it balances your body, okay? Um, this, is, this is the way we truly do it. And of course, back in the day, the way the ancient ways, cultivating <laughs> wisdom, cultivating mother, cultivating the earth, right? Cultivate perfection of wisdom. So um, getting more and more back into the earth and our heart. And through that, we're uncovering all this beautiful stuff. It's inspiring. It's healing us. It's bringing forth this wisdom, okay? Um the magician, Magas, Mary, Mary Magdalene, okay? She's a master magician, okay? She harnesses <clears throat> the four elements. She's a master of all the elements. So, and the top one said, Everything has a beginning, has an ending. Knowing that truth, you find peace. So, death, rebirth, okay? Peace is at the center. So, that was the top one. Okay. So, but the one that came out for you was cultivate perfection of wisdom, no fire, poison, sword, and water can harm you. Butimus, butimus. So, because <clears throat> Kuan Yin, I was feeling, okay. And, you know, we've had... past lives, okay, this is why we have connections to certain things, and uh, South American, and Chinese, Japanese, um, Native American, uh, Scottish, Irish, Egyptian, okay, because we've lived, we can't, we keep reincarnating, coming back, the bodhisattvas, okay, the divine feminine, divine masculine, because we're, we're helping the ascension of the planet, we're helping each other, we're helping the human race, Especially the earth angels, okay, the hybrids of the boat, the Elohim, the, <laughs> and they created humans, right? And then they had sex with humans, okay. They created so, so beautiful, okay, it's like the flowers, oh my god, they're so beautiful, you just want to smell them all day, right? They created beautiful humans, they're just like, oh god, we just want to, they're so beautiful, their hearts, we just want to be around them all the time, we want to make love with them, we want to eat, drink the nectar and the ambrosia, and, okay, just the gods and goddesses, okay, we're getting back to the inspiration, Uturi, the true divine essence of the masculine and feminine, and coming into balance, this creates that third energy of ascension, now this portal, this vortex is created where we have a, a, a space, we've created this wormhole, vortex, vo whatever, we created this energy now where we're piercing into the and ascending and seeing things from a higher and higher and more and more expanded view J just like the breath like the air like like the elements how far spread they are okay who the inspiration inspiration okay um oh and also okay because you mentioned dreams and I showed you, okay, in the other Haniel Courage on the bottom. Yeah, Raziel with dreams, okay? So, dreams can be very important. You might be a dreamer, an astral travel, or, okay, traveling the galaxies, galactic astral traveler, traveling the, the dimensions in your dream time, meditation space. Um, so... Okay, past life stuff's coming in big time. So the one that came out for you was Zoff Kiel. Okay, look at that 11 twin flame. There, there's that third energy. Boom. 
upward. <laughs> Zofkiel is aware of the yearnings that currently exude from your heart. Here's a heart again. And intuitively receives the strong desire in your emotional body for the joy of romance. I was going to grab the joy rock too. <laughs> Whether this be in new love or in an existing relationship. And remember, it's always God first, self, okay? And then your connection to all. So once we get that in order, we see our part in it, the twin flames part in it, all the, the animals, the trees, okay? How everything's one. Emotional body for the joy of romance, whether this be a new... Okay, uh, this stirring is often often related to the fact that an ideal of love has not been experienced for some time. Explore this notion, truly identifying what that could be. The angels are returning you to a higher vibration of love, so don't cling tightly to the idea of love from your past and be prepared to embark on a new way of loving. Yeah, that higher love, okay, patience, mercy, forgiveness. Um, whew, it's inspired from that higher divine feminine wisdom, okay, through the healing, that unconditional love. Okay, but we we get romance too. <laughs> God made romance, hello. So anyone who's against romance and love making, that God made all of it. Um, all the sacred geometry, the stars and the snowflakes and the crystals and the okay, the music, all the musical notes, the octaves, the octaves, the original eight. The <clears throat> anyway, let's not get too deep. But um, <laughs> so that higher vibration of love. Okay, that's what I'm saying. The purple and um, okay, again, purple on the back here with the Kuan Yin card, and I was already getting Mikael, Michael coming in that violet and white, which is the coat the image on the card is associated with that and there's also gray in there so I mean um white and actually gray it's funny I just said, said that because when you mix the purple that's so funny when you mix the purple with the white it looks gray right here so that came out for a reason and there's gray on the wolf yeah so yes the gray the steam the in between okay the green and the gray that's Okay, so where did we go here? This is a time of wondrous change in your loving propensities. Trust that Zafkiel will work this out for your highest good. Chant He in your eighth chakra to stimulate the opening of your universal heart chakra. This will allow your force to envelop all aspects of your ideal love in service of the unified field of light for we are all interconnected that's right or was what card um, yeah this one right here emergence so that green the heart okay the elements of the earth um, the interconnected inter connectedness i just said gray okay so again the green esteem god in between gabriel and jesus the, the green esteem so the, all that interconnectedness is very important um that was the top card okay when the when you're uh wolf moon isolation okay that's a part of the process we have to tr we have to surrender and tr okay so but look at what the beautiful reward the warm glow okay vanilla okay the very earthy and it all it all comes together mother moon the earth okay that warmth of the hearth the oven the coven okay um, the ov Ove, oven, ove, of, ovum, okay? And again, that two and the one, okay? The one, two, one, the crystallized consciousness of, remember, remember I was saying on the, the breath that's coming out of the wolf right there, okay? Your, your individual <coughs> self has two lungs, right? But there's another one, a perfect match, perfect reflection, twin flame, 
creates that third energy. Okay, just like the two testes, feminine. Two ovaries, feminine. Vaginal canal, masculine. Pineal shaft, masculine. He's the singularity, she's the two. Guiding, the guiding light, the movement of him, okay? The balance of the two creates this trinity. So that's where all the beautiful dreams, the, the remembrance, all the past lives, and then things can come up because trauma from past life stuff with your twin flame too. So healing all of that, being inspired by that to help others heal, okay? So <clears throat> we get to that phase eventually too, and then now we realize our purpose being the bodhisattva. This period of isolation is important, okay? Connecting. It's because that's that's the point of doing that is to get to this point of remembering the interconnectedness, okay? How we're all interwoven with the earth, the elements, the angels. And then, you know, we, we can't help but keep spiraling upward. And then it's this, okay, then we get to be with our twin flame and the lovemaking and the romance and... Then helping others heal, helping others to heal their sexual trauma, just sharing your story to just, just to let others know they're not alone, just that right there is very helpful, okay? Not that you feel better that other people are suffering or whatever, okay? Um, just to know that there's others, uh, we, we help each other, okay? So, um... Yeah, Zafkiel with romance, that's beautiful, okay, very much twin flame energy, heart, okay. So, now, let's pull the whispers of love. Everything was already pre-shuffled and cut, so <clears throat> we'll see what comes out here for the the twin flame connection between you and your divine masculine and then we'll pull some tarot cards um and then we'll do one final section oh there we go see again look at all these high vibe okay seraphim with that gold with the fire but all the violet okay and then flowers lots of flowers again that uturi the inspiration like attracts like and something i thought i read something about vibe okay so whenever i see vibe i'm always like okay vibe tribe if you are longing for more love in your life you need to be more loving like attracts like this is a two So we have to be that which we want. So that makes us want ourselves and love, love ourselves as well. We want to be more and more and more like God so that we can love the earth more, love each other more, protect animals more, be more protective of the children, all the elements. It's not so we can go, oh, I'm God. I have harems of men, women, men and women, slaves, and, you know, <laughs> beasts of the field, whatever I'm just saying. But look, all that violet, again, stripes on her hand to look like, okay, like, you earned your stripes. So... When we go through this process of healing, yeah, we we earn those stripes. I'm just looking at these cards. Are, there's so much in, in this artwork. It's amazing. Um, a lot of uturi, a lot of inspiration, a lot of flower essence, okay? The wings, transformation, okay, healing. Oh, okay, I just realized she has... Whoa! Whoa! I don't know if I even ever got this card from this deck before, but I never noticed this. She's holding... Okay, let me get this up close here. 
She's holding a doll of herself, which is holding a doll of herself, which is holding a doll of herself. And I've talked about this. My aunt in her house, she had a, um, in her bathroom a big long mirror on her double sink. And then right behind that, a double mirror closet sliding glass door. Okay, so it would do this infinite fractal reflection. And it would get darker and darker and darker and smaller as it went away. But it was like... <laughs> It, it may, amazing like okay we've also referred to it as um and other people too we get these downloads in different ways so russian nesting dolls okay so look at that see how it's it's going to be kind of blurry she's holding one and then her doll's holding one and hold, so this fractal all these past lives and psh, expand it's just the infinite the eternal you okay Wow, that is a magical, and two, that it's a two-year partnership building, that's the Divine Feminine, uh, two, Kuan Yin, wow. Ooh, Mother Mary Moon. <laughs> okay. So on the bottom we have 39, that reduces to three, and it says, be authentic to who you are. All aspects, all past lives, all, okay, shed all the distortion, keep all, only what's authentic and true, okay? You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. Yes. I'll plug this in really quick here. Okay. Are we charging? There we go. And the top one is 24, which reduces to 6. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. That's right. Be in your heart. Focus on love. Unconditional love. Not what you can get from this person, what they can do to you, um, and then uh, do for you, whatever. Um, but then, you know, if they say offend you okay then you're not no we still have to and it's okay to get okay we we're not like stones we, okay we're gonna feel something but we know we come from a higher perspective now so when people are saying things it's because they're going through a process it has nothing to do with us so um if we know that we're coming you know that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing according to our divine guidance okay um, you're going to deal with a lot of different things as long as we keep maintaining those virtues of mercy, forgiveness, compassion, unconditional love, patience. Okay? So, <clears throat> being in your heart and true and authentic to who you are and focusing on love. Okay? When you do that, that's going to attract... That's going to reflect every, you're going to just see that, okay, because you're aligning with that vibration. So every, everywhere you, you go, you're going to, your sight will naturally be drawn to that part of the spectrum or ho however, I'm trying to use human words. <laughs> okay, so that's what your vision is going to align with. If you're in the center, right where God is, okay, Gabriel on the left, Jesus on the right, he's right in the middle, green steam of the betwixt, the between, the twin, okay, that green, the heart, of when you're right there, then you have perfect vision all the way, think of your head being able to rotate. If it's kind of this way, then you can only rotate to the center and then all the way to the right, but if your head's directly in the center you can rotate all the way to the left all the way to the right so you have this full spectrum so it's very balance is very key to all of this okay so achieving balance that's a whole journey okay and then we align with all that which is balanced and that's when we get the romance and the beauty and the magic and the love and the flower oh the flower smells sweeter everything oh okay so <laughs> So let's see, what are we? Okay, so let's pull a few to row and then um, we'll finish up with the to row and then we'll do your fairy card and your um, earth warrior. I keep your, <laughs> I want to say spirit warrior, earth warrior. Okay, yeah, earth warrior. So let's, let's get some 
see how you guys are mirroring each other here. All right. So, kidoki. dokie. <laughs> There we go. Key. So, okie dokie, there we go. Okay, alrighty. Right off the bat, Ace of Pentacles on the top. That's perfect energy for right now. Big, juicy, plump seed waiting for you to fulfill your destiny. Okay. After some death, rebirth, transformation. So, right off the bat, they were shuffled. I didn't look at them yet, so... <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles, Aries, time to arise, or Uturi, and be inspired. Okay, any healing left to do, transformation, okay, so that you can follow your destiny. This is the Divine Feminine being very clear about what she needs to do. Okay, the intention she wants to set. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going like Ace of Pentacles, Death Card, Star Card. Then it goes High Priestess, Two of Cups, Six of Cups. So really being in tune with your intuition, going deep within. You're going to feel that love. You're going to feel the union. You're going to feel the connection. You're going to walk away, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and um, really do what you need to balance your energies and do any healing. Okay, because the chariot card right after the queen of cups. Then the two of rods, okay? Then that twin flame will reflect. I mean, we're always going to be learning, growing, working through our stuff. But we want to get to a place to where when something comes up, we don't react from ego. We, we'll still have the physiological sensation, but we'll recognize it and we'll say, <laughs> Right? Okay, when struggle comes up, we'll recognize it and we'll like, oh, okay, we recognize this feeling, my heart rate's going up, my, this whatever, my nose starts itching every time uh, I, uh, panic attacks coming in. Okay, so what just happened? What, what, who did I just interact with? What did they just say? Why am I being triggered? So, but, and then we can move through those even quicker. So, and then we can also have go-tos we create our own mantras and responses because it's it's the same response conflict okay it's just how do you dissolve it you can have the same response to many different forms of conflict and you can have one resolve one thing that you say or do that dissolves all kinds of different forms okay which is because it's all stemming from fear and out of the heart okay so by you being in the heart okay that's how you do that so, um, it's all part of the process. This is, this is the test of faith, five of one. This is obstacles as opportunities for growth. Don't let them be an obstacle. You choose. We have the knight of swords on the bottom and the three of cups on top. So I'm, I'm thinking, like, really be crafty with this energy when it comes up. Really take advantage of it and bring in, allow it to bring in joy, okay? Um, we're getting, like, conflict resolution. Conflict resolution, healing through conflict resolution, bringing together different elements, different points of view, because of the different elements, the five of wands, we have the three of cups and the knight of swords, so really bringing together different points of view, different elements, different... Um, So maybe with you and your twin flame that really work on mirroring, okay, doing the mirroring. So as you achieve that, 
Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> let's see what we got here. So that, here's that Queen of Swords again. Okay, let's just see what's on the bottom. Tower card, Queen of Rods. So Tower card, Queen of Rods. Okay, this could be Karmics being removed. It also could be Kali energy clearing the path, letting you know that it's clear. All you need to do is decide to walk down that path towards your Four of Wands, Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Sun card. What was the one that was flipped over? Oh, yeah, Justice. That's right. Balance of the Heart, Ma'at. So let me show you these here. So we don't need to worry about any karmics. Those those will be taken care of. Oh, we got, see, look at where that two, two of Pentacles landed. That's physical, tangible union, okay? And look where it landed. Right on the romance, off Kiel. So this is a physical, tangible offer of love reaching out in some physical tangible way in the 3d okay not just in dreams um and this is one thing that's conflicting the feminine is because of that um okay we're gonna we're gonna stop there and we're gonna continue it and um we'll see if I, I didn't do it right away on the other one because the uh, web the um, laptop one was sticky and stuff, so I had to let the computer slow down. But we'll see if we can do it right now, and if so, we'll can we'll just continue on.